So, Kal Kadosh Bokato, we're going to continue with this is Daf Kuf Kaf Hey 125A1. Okay, and it says over here like this Amar Bar Amdure Amar Shmuel. It says Bar Amdure to Shmuel. Kurmiyotchen Machzelet. We're talking about pieces of reeds that they separate from an old carpet. Mutal Tatalam Shabbat, you're allowed to move them on Shabbat. My Tama, what's reasoning? Why is it that they're not considered Mukse? Amar Rava, Rava says, Baramdure. Asperali, Baramdure came and he's told me in the name of Shemuel, right? He explained it to me. Machzelet Gufa, the Maichazia. What is a Machzelet fitting for? He's Lechasri Ba'afra, to cover dirt. You put a carpet on to cover the dirt. Haninami, so to hear, Chaz Lechasri Ba'afra, so to hear, it's going to cover the dirt. Amar Bizer Amar Rav, says the Bizer name of Rav, Shire Prozmiot. We were talking about Kraim of Talitot Yishonot, a Sultan Talam Shabbat, you're not allowed to be in Tantelotam. On Shabbat, Amar Abaye Abaye says, "The matlaniot shen ba'en shalosh al shalosh." We're talking about matlaniot that do not have three fingers by three fingers. The lo chazi and that they're not fitting lo laniim lo lashirim, not to rich people or not to poor people. Poor people. Tanu Rabbanam, we learned in the Brayta. Shivret Tanur Yashan harem kechol akelim and italim bechatzer. All these types of shivret Tanur, which are basically the shivret Tanur Yashan, which are the old things, which they are the like kelim and italim bechatzer. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Yudha Omer, Rabbi Yudha says, any talim, they are not taken. So testify the Rabbi Yosef in the name of Rabbi Yosef ben Yaakov, on Shivret Tanur Yashan, on Shivret Tanur Yashan, and Shani Talim Beshabbat, which are going to be taken on Shabbat, and on the Kisui of the Tanur, which does not need the Bet Yad in order to permit the Titur. With what we're we dealing with, Amar Abay Abay says, Be'osin me'en melacha. We're talking about that they're doing me'en melacha, ve'en osin me'en melachtan kamipalge, which means that they do a melacha, but they don't do the same exact melacha or something similar to the melacha that they were doing beforehand. That's that Rabbi Yehuda letamen, Rabbi Yehuda goes according to his reasoning, Rabbi Meir letamen, Rabbi Meir according to his reasoning. Is again, each one was going according to the reasoning, is it can be considered like nolad and therefore it's a sur? Or do we say that it's not, that it's like already muhan, it's already prepared and therefore it's going to be mutar, to move it. So Matki Fla Rava. Rava comes and he asks the following question. Ihachi, if so, if you're going to tell me this, I'm the Shivret Tanur. We're talking about the parts of the Tanur that broke. Just speak about Stam Shivret Kelim. Why are we talking about Dafka Shivret Tanur? Broken pieces of a Tanur of an oven. Elama Rava, but rather Rava says, Be Shivret de Hai Tanur Kami Palge. We're talking about there, there's a machloke between. In the Shvarim, in the Shivre Tanur, by the Tran, because we learned in a Mishnah, Nitano al Pia Boro Pia Dot. If you place right now the Tanur on top of a pit or on top of this dut, which is also like a, it's like a pit on, on the ground, and a Tansham Evan, and they put an Evan there. So here I'll show you the picture. I'm sure if you guys have an art school, you could also see it as well. There you have the pit, right? The pit, the fire is there, there's the Tanur, and then you have a stone here. Okay? So it says, in such a case, right? Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yehuda says, "Ima sik milamata." If the fire comes from below, right? Vehu nisok milamala, and the tanur is going to leave the fire on the top, so then it's going to be tameh. Im lav, but if you cannot do it from within the pit, tahor, it's going to be pure. Right? But chachamim only chachamim say, "Hoel veusak mikol makom." Since you can do it from any place, it's always going to be tameh. So, Maikami Palge, what is the machloket between the Chachamim and Rabbi Yehuda in such a case? So, says the Pasuk, in this, the machloket is in this Pasuk. Tanur vechiran yutatz, temeim hem, utmeim yu lachem. What does that mean? Rabbi Yehuda savar, Rabbi Yehuda holds that this Pasuk of that a Tanur or a Kidaim, remember, a Tanur is an oven, the Kidaim was like the stove, but obviously it was like much different than what we have nowadays. But it says, Tanur vechiran yutatz. What does it mean yutatz? So, it says, mechusan tzitza, Tameh. If it's mechubal la karka, and therefore you could do the netitza, it's going to be tameh. But if it's not mechutza netitza, which means that it's not connected to the ground, it's going to be taor. Rabbanan savre, Rabbanan hold no. Temim yu lachem yikom akom. It's always going to be tameh. The last part of the, of the, of the pasuk. But it says it's always going to be tameh. Temim yu lachem. So says the Gemara, fine. But what do the rabbis do with the pasuk with the word yutatz? Rabbanan am yaktiv yutatz. So answers the Gemara, ahu laidach kisa. It's the other side. The Salka Daita, I mean, because I thought to say, Kevin the Chabre Be'ara, Kegufa Dara Dami, but since you connected it to the ground, it's like considered 
the ground and it's not going to be mekabel tumah, kamashvalan comes teach you that we don't say that. Vidach nami, and the other one also says, haktiv temim yulachem. According to the view that's also written, temim yulachem. So what does he do with that part of the pasuk? So answers the Gemara, he could have Yudah Meshmuel, like a Yudah Meshmuel. The other one of Yudah Meshmuel that says of Yudah Meshmuel, Machloket Besek Adishon. Machloket is in the first Hesek, in the first time that you're going to light the, the fire. Aval Besek Shini, but in the second time around, Afilu Betzavar Gamal, even if it's going to be in the Tzavar, even if the, the, the Tanud is going to be hanging off of the, of the Mamash, he's going to put on a camel. And you're going to have a, a Tanud hanging from a camel, it's still going to be Yutumim Yulachem. So that's what he's going to learn from the Salacha. Okay? Amar Ula. Ula says, V'esek rishon l'rabbanan, afilu talu b'tzavar gamal, are you going to tell me then that it's going to be according to the rabbis that even if it's going to be on the tzavar of a gamal, on the neck of a camel, you're going to have a, a tanur, an oven hanging down, it's still going to be tameh? So says the Gemara, right? Ah, it's true. There wasn't a question, sorry. That's a, it's a statement. That's what he's actually saying. According to the Chachamim, that's exactly what's happening. Okay? So, Matkit, La Ravashi, Ravashi comes and he asks the following question. Yach, if so, Adimi Papalge, Vishvire Tanur, from the fact that they're going to argue in Shivre Tanur. If we have a Tanur Gufa, why don't they argue in the Tanur itself? So, says the Gemara, Hashta Tanur Gufa, La Rabiuda, La Vemina, according to Rabiuda, Tanur is not considered a mana. It's not considered a utensil. Shvara Mibai, so if the Tanur is not a utensil, can you tell me that which broke with the Tanur is going to be considered a utensil? Obviously not. So, Ravashi, but rather Ravashi says, Really, it's like we said at the beginning. We're talking about the Yumira Maase Tapka. According to the words of Rabbi Yudai, he's saying, According to me, even if you're going to do Mem Lachai, but according to you, Rabbi Yehuda, and according to Rabbi Yehuda, Lo Dami, it's not Dome. Hatam is Sakob Yifnim, Vacha is Sakob Yifnim. He says there, the Hesek is on the inside, here the Hesek is on the outside. Here, Milmad, here it's standing, and here it's Lav Milmad, it's not standing. So, Heid Rabbi Yosem, and Shum Rabbi Lezim, Yaakov, Shibir Tanun, Yashan Shidim Shabbat, that he said the broken piece of the Tanun that could actually be carried on Shabbat, Al Kisuya Shin Tzivya, and also the cover does not need a handle to pick it up. So, I'm Ravina, Ravina says, Kimamant of the Indian, he says, who is it nowadays that we, we can actually come and pick it up? So he says, They don't have a handle. Like Rabbi Yehuda ben Yaakov. Or by the Mishnah. Okay? They were... It says the Mishnah on Kuf Kafei Amud Aleph on the bottom. Okay, we're on the second last line. We're talking about a stone that they put inside of a Dilati Veshas, an old pumpkin, and it's hollow in order to draw water. So this was like their bucket in order to draw water. They used to take a big pumpkin, right? And they used to put a stone inside, right? And attach it. And therefore, they used to pick it up. And that's how they drew the water, okay? If you're able to fill up the water and it's not going to fall, right? So then it says, So then you're allowed to do it. You're allowed to fill it up with water, no problem. But if not, which means that if the stone is going to fall off from it, and it's like any other thing, so then you cannot fill it up with water. says, I'm sure here we have pictures. A zimura, so we're talking about now a branch of a geffen. This is like a great vine uh, branch. Okay? So he says here like this. It says, here it is. This is Ha'evin Shebekiruya, the stone which is inside of the pumpkin. Okay, now here on this side, it's going to speak about the Zemora, which is Keshura Betafiyah, is this. Okay, so now it says like this. So it says in the Gemara, in the Mishnah, Zemora Shik Shura Betafiyah, Malimba Beshava, you are allowed to come and you're allowed to fill it up on Shabbat. Pkaka Chalon, we're talking about the Pkaka Chalon. Pkaka Chalon was. It's like a shutters of once upon a time. This is the pkaka chalon, the shutters of once upon a time. Okay, so the pkaka chalon, it says over here. Rabbi Yezer, Rabbi Yezer says, "Biman shehu kashur." If it's going to be tied to the building, so then pokekim, right? You're allowed pokekim, but you're allowed to to put it up. 
אם לאו ולפנות, אתם פורקים בו, you don't have to do it. לאו וחכמים אומרים, חכמים say, בין כך ובין כך פורקים בו, you are allowed to do it. So says the Gemara, תנן הרתם, we learned over there in a Mishnah. אבן שעל פי החבית, when we're talking about an אבן which is on the חבית. Right? So it says, מטה על צידה והיא נופלת. So you're going to turn it over, and then it's going to fall over. אמר רבא רבי אמר רבי יוחנן, צא זה רבא נמר רבי נמר יוחנן, לא שנו אלא בשוכח. That's only if you forgot it there. אבל במניח, but if you put it there purposely, נעשה בסיס לדבר אסור, it becomes a בסיס, a base, to something which is אסור. רבי יוסף אמר, right, and says רבי יוסף, in the name of Rasi, in the name of Yochanan, לא שנו אלא בשוכח, that's only if you forgot it there. But if you place it there, it becomes a kisui to the chavit. It becomes a, a cover to the barrel. And therefore, you're allowed to come and you're allowed to place it there. So basically, the, both of them are saying that it's shokheach, aval b'meniach is something different, right? However, though, what is the meniach? Well, you're putting it there purposely. Is it becoming the basis to the davar asur? Or is it becoming basis to the davar mutar? If it's a basis, remember, the basis means it's a base. If it's a base to something which is mutar, so then it's permitted. If it's a base to something which is asur, it's going to be prohibited. So Amar Rabba Rabba says, Motvina nashmaitan, right? We're talking, we could ask on the question in the Mishnah, and it says, Ha'evin shebekuruya, we're talking about a stone, right? Shebekuruya, imem la'imba, if you're going to fill it up, it'll no fill it, it's not going to fall, malimba, so you're going to cover it. Right, velohi, but it's not true. Hatam over there, kevin dehadeka, since you're going to be ma'adeket ze, shav ya dofen, you're going to make it into a dofen. So Amar of Yosef says, Yosef, motvina nashmaitin, so we're going to ask it on the b'raita, im lav, if it's going to fall off, You're not allowed to fill it up. In Malimba. Below you, but it's not really true. Right? Hatam, kevin do lo yitka, but that's why. Since you didn't actually tie it together, it's not batul batel, it's like batel to it. So for, since you didn't tie it together, it's batel from being a kli, because you didn't tie it. And therefore, that's the reason why you can't fill it up, because now it's not a utensil, the stone. So says the Gemara, b'maikam yipalge. What is the makhluk between them? Mor savar ba'inan ma'aseh. Mor savar lo ba'inan ma'aseh. One of them holds. that we need an action, and one of them holds that we don't need an action, which means that according to one of them, you just put it on top of the barrel, and it's enough. And then it's, it's, it's even without doing any action. You just put it there, that's it. But to the other one, you need an action to tie it up, to do something, and now it's going to become part of the barrel. But as the time, they go according to the reasoning. The chi'ata Rav Dimi, was when Rav Dimi came from ba- to Babel, right? Amar Rav Hanina says the name of Rav Hanina, and Amar Rav Hanina says the name of Rav Hanina, and Amar Rav Hanina. Once Rebbe went to a certain place on Erev Shabbat, and he found an entire nidbach of avanim, which is basically an entire row of stones, of bricks. So he went and he told his students, just think about it, in order that tomorrow we could sit down on them. He didn't need, he didn't require a ma'aseh, an action. Rabbi Yochanan says, they didn't need an action. What did he tell them? Biyami Amar Rabbi Yami says, Su velimudum. Go, right, Amar Lehu, which means go and prepare them, which means sit down on them, prepare them, right, you know, like Ravasi uh, Amar, Ravasi says, Su v'shav shifu malu. He went even go and even like uh, smooth them, smooth them out so that way we could sit on top of them. So according to each one, according to their reasoning, do you have to actually do an action or is it enough just thinking about it or what type of an action do you have to do with it? Okay? So the three different opinions. Next, Itmar was stated. Rabbi Yosef ben Shaul Omer, Rabbi Yosef ben Shaul says, Savar she korot hava, there was a chavila, a package of korot, which are basically like beams for the binyan, for building. Rabbi Yosef ben Shaul Omer, Rabbi Yosef ben Shaul says, Gasho shel svina hava. Right, so it's a gasho shel svina. So man da amar, what does that mean? It's like a mot aroch, it's a small uh, pole, right, that they put it in the, in the water in front of the boat. In order to know how much is the is a deep so here it is this is the pole over here to see how deep is the water okay so that was the pole so it says mandama according to the mandama that says gashosh which means that he permitted this gashosh which is basically this pole in front of the boat kolshek and savar all the more so a very small hachana for the pieces of beams for the wood mandama and savar according to the savar Maybe you are makpid because you're going to be miyachah because you don't want it to get crooked or to break or things like that, so you wouldn't use it for other things. It says the two dots. Zemura shi'i kshura. We're talking about a zemura which is going to be tied. Kishura in, lo kshura lo. Only if it's going to be kshura, but if it's not kshura, no. The lema matnitin. Why don't we just say that our Mishnah is not like Rabbi Shem Gamliel? The tiny Abbas we learned in the Brayta. 
Chariot shel dekel shegderan etzim. When you have chariot shel dekel, which were tied to the, the, the tree, nimlach alein liyshiva, and then you decided to sit down on them. Okay, tzrich likshor, you have to tie them. Rabbi Shmuel Ben Omer, Rabbi Shmuel Ben Tzia says, and tzrich likshor, you don't have to tie it together. So Amar Rabbi Sheshat says, Rabbi Sheshat, I feel like Rabbi Shmuel Ben Yehli, you're going to tell me Rabbi Shmuel Ben Yehli, I'm going to tell you what we're dealing with. The mechuber when it's attached to the tree. Meaning, if it's still going to be attached to the, the vineyard, to the vine tree, so then that's going to be something. Then it's already enough that it's not enough with machshava. You actually need a, a, you have to tie it to do an action. Yach, if so, you're not allowed to use a tree on Shabbat. So how do you explain that? So answers the Gemara, lemata mishosha, it's below three tfachim. So since it's three tfach, below three tfachim, it's like you're using the ground, you're not using a tree. Ravashi, Yemar Ravashi says, apilu tema betzusha, even you're going to tell me it's detached. It's a maybe you're going to come, you're going to pluck it off the tree, and that's going to be a suit. Okay, two dots. Kaka halon. And we're talking about the window seal, right? The kak the, on the window, the shutters. Everyone agrees that you're not allowed to make an oil or on the Yom Tov and all the more so on Shabbat. When is the machloket? Leosif, to add. Shabliyazer Omer, Leosif says, you're not allowed to add it on Yom Tov. You're allowed to do it on Shabbat, so obviously you're allowed to add on Yom Tov. Okay, next two dots. So he says, right like this. My Ben Kachu Ben Kach. What does it mean, Ben Kachu Ben Kach? Amar Biyaba Amar Kana says the Biyaba name Kana Ben Kashur Ben Shenu Kashur Beushim Metukan. Whether it's tied together or not, but as long as it's going to be Metukan, it's going to be saved. Okay. So we continue on Kuka Vav Amud Aleph. This one twenty six A one. Amar Rabbi Amar Lev Yirmiya says the Biyirmiya to the Biyaba. But Leima more. Why doesn't he just say that the Kavanat of Chachamim is that it's permitted to use this shutters? Ben talui, ben shenu talui, whether it's going to be connected or not connected. Ve'u shekashur, as long as it's going to be tied to the binyan. The Amar of Yochanan of Yochanan says, Ve'u Yochanan of Yochanan, ki machloke kan kach machloke benegar anigrar. So just like there's a machloke here to do with this window stop, window, you know, uh, um, to stop the windows, the shutters, so too is the machloke to do with the nigrar, which means, it says over here, it's like a briach, this is to do with the door as well. The tram, as we learned in a Mishnah, this is in Eruvim, and we have this, which is like a t- tied to the door, but it's going to be on, on the floor, so it's going to be used. Let's see here, we have a picture. This is it. Right here. Okay? So basically, that's like, it's, it's something which is placed on the floor where it's, it's, it's tied, and that's how they come to lock the door. So it says, Neger anigra, no alimbo bamigdash, you close it within the bit of midash, but not on the dinia. The munach, so he says over here, right, the munach, kan ve kan asur, they're both going to be asur. Rabbi Yudha Omer, Rabbi Yudha says, ha munach bamigdash, ba nigrar bamedina, if it's going to be, you're allowed to do it in the migdash, but not in the, right, in the, if it's going to be, munach means that it's placed on the ground. Nigrar means that it's, it's attached and it's like uh, being dragged. Okay, the Tanya we learned on the right, nigrar, midash, minina, that you close the Migdash and the Minina, as long as it's tied up and it's attached to the window. But and it goes to the land. Rav Yudah Omer Rav Yudah says, af medina mutar. It's also going to be mutar in the Medina. Ela ezum medina asur. What does it mean that the Medina is going to be asur? Kol shenu lo kashub lo talui manicho. If it's not going to be t- attached or hanging, and you're going to leave it on the Keren Zavid. Amar Yishua Baraba Mishmei Deula says of Yishua Baraba in name of Ula, Man Tana Neger Anigrar. Who is the Tana that says that Neger Anigrar? Rabbi Yezer Ii. It's going to be Rabbi Yezer. So Amale. So he comes and he says, Ana de Amre ki Aitana. Right? We, he holds like this Tana. The Tana was we learned in a Brayta. Kane sheit kino balabai liot poteach benuelbo. When you have a kane that the Balabite went and he was opening and closing with it. He uses this reed to open and close this door. If it's going to be attached to the door, so then you could use it to open and close the door. But if it's not, you cannot open and close the door. What does it mean, metukan? It says, as long as it's going to be, as long as it's for it, it's prepared for it, even though it's not going to be tied, it's going to be okay. 
So Amr of Yudam Rashilat, Amr of Asim of Yochran says of Yudam Rashilat, Nimr of Asim of Yochran, Talacha is like Rashba, Kirish Mumien. So says the Gemara, does Rav Yochran say that? Umi Amr of Yochran, Achi, does Rav Yochran say that? But now we learned in the Mishnah. Kol Kisuya Kelim, all the, the talking about the, the, the Kisui, the covers of the utensils, Kukavavam Bet, Shish Lem Bet Achiza, that it has a handle, you're allowed to take it on Shabbat. The Amr of Yudam Rashila says Yudam Rashila, yeah, he says, Amr of Asim Yochran, Nimr of Asim Yochran, Ushi is Torat Klialen. It's only if it has the Torat Kli. If you're going to tell me Achenam, it's the Torat Kli Alav. Right? He says, Umi Bayer Ashbag, Torat Kli Alav. He says, Do you actually need it to be a Kli? But Tanya, we learned in a Brayta, Chariot Shel Dekel She Gedaran Shem Etzim. When you have Chariot Shel Dekel, right, that he puts them for wood, and he mlach alayen la yeshiva, right, and he decided not to sit on it, so he clicks short. You have to tie it up. Rashbag Omer of Shabbag says. You don't have to tie it up. So says the Gemara, Rabbi Yochanan holds like him in one halacha, but he argues with him in the halacha. And he holds like Rashbag in one halacha that it's permitted to open and close with this kane, even if it's not tied up. But he argues on him in the other one that he says that Rashbag permits to use this kane even if it's not even a kli. Rabbi Yochanan says it has to be a kli. Okay? Fine. Darash Rav. Yitzhak Navcha Pitcha de Reshkaluta. So Yitzhak Navcha, he came and made a drasha on the entrance of the Reshkaluta. Halacha Akrab Eliezer, he said, Halacha Akrab Eliezer. So Mati, Rav Amram, Rav Amram comes and he asks the question, Umidivrechem Lamadnusha, from your words we learn, Shepokikinu Modim Koshim Shema, you're allowed to, to close the windows on Shabbat, meaning we're talking about putting the shutters. You're allowed to, right, to moded and kosher, you're allowed to measure and you're allowed to tie on Shabbat. Samuel Abay Abay says, Mati, why do you say that? Mishum Betani Stama. It's also Stam Mishnah, meaning all the Stam Mishnahs are like that, which is like Rabbi Yezir. So why are you bringing one Mishnah more than the other? But still it was a which is better. Which means when you learn that this is a story, this is actually going to be much better right, than what it was before. Says the Mishnah, any type of a cover that has a handle, I need to leave Shabbat. You could carry them on Shabbat. I'm going to be also says of you. One of these words, it's going to cover the ground. It's going to cover the utensils. Whether it's one or another, they're going to be taken on Shabbat. Okay, says the Gemara. I'm going to be the Bashil. I'm going to be the Bashil. I'm going to be the Bashil. I'm going to be the That's as long as it's got a Torah Kli. According to all opinions, it's going to be the Bashil. It's going to be the Bashil. Only if it has a betachiza, yes, if not, not. Even if it does have, if it does not have a betachiza, if it doesn't have a handle, keep pleading. When is the machlok? If clean the chabrinu ba'ara, if you connected it to the ground, the tanakama holds gazrina, and we make a gazera, right? That you're not allowed to take them if they don't have a betachiza, because again, it's like a kisui karka, because since you connected it to the ground, it's like the ground, and therefore you're not allowed to do it, right? And he says, and he says the kisui. Um, Right? So, more savar lo gozin. And the one says, we don't make that decree. The shnachrina, or another explanation, ki plige be kisui tanur, in the kisui va tanur. More medamele le kisui karkam, one of them compares it to the ground, and more medamele le kisui kelim, one of them compares it to the kelim. Hadran alach kola kelim. Okay? Take a ball.